Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to Vehicle Thursday. Uh, I did it again guys, I did it again. I'm posting it the day after and that's only because I'm adding in such epic vehicles that I'm running out of time to actually make a video in that same day. But as always, we are going to be revealing a brand new vehicle today and this one today is super duper special. I'll tell you why right now, I'll tell you why. This vehicle can support four passengers. Oh, and it drives on land as well. So you can pretty much squat up with somebody in this brand new vehicle and uh, you can go exploring. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and let's head over to Cray Industries right now and uh, let's reveal this brand new vehicle. Have a look at young Greg here on his drone. Yeah, you think you're cool, don't you? You think you're cool on that drone. I'm going to go ahead and turn your drone off. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to fall down. Alright, I'll put it back on there for you. Alright, young Greg, you, you be careful there. Alright, let's head over to Cray Industries right now and uh, let's reveal this. Uh, do I have a vehicle holder? I think I have a, I have a Vespa. I have a moped over here. Aha! Alright, let's take this thing to Cray Industries. Alrighty, here we are at Crate Industries, my dudes, and we are going to reveal the brand new vehicle right now. But before we do that, if you guys enjoy a Vehicle Wednesday and uh, you love this brand new vehicle today, make sure you guys remember to go ahead and snap that like button to show your support. If you want to keep up to date with every single Vehicle Wednesday, uh, make sure you subscribe as well and uh, you'll be notified. Oh, and turn on bell notifications so you get notified every time the video goes live because once the video is live, it also means the update is live. So you can download this right now in the description below. But let's go ahead, let's reveal this right now in three, two, one. Oh, we can kind of already see it. We can kind of already see it. Boom, here it is my dudes. This is the golf cart. Now I know what you're about to say right now. I know what you're about to say. Crayfish, you copied Fortnite. How dare you copy Fortnite? Well, I'll tell you guys right now. Fortnite didn't invent golf carts. They didn't. True fact. True fact. But uh, seriously, um, this was actually something that I already had planned for this mod for a very long time and uh, it just happened to be that Fortnite added it in recently. So if you're going to go to the comment section right now, don't. I already know what you're doing. I already know what you're doing, okay? But let's take a closer look at this golf cart right now. So how cool is the golf cart, my dudes? Now, I just want to quickly say before we go ahead and we uh, give this thing a quick ride here, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do because I actually publish the progress of each vehicle on there. Well, I'm going to start to do it now. I'm going to start to publish the progress of each vehicle. So go follow me on Twitter, link in the description below. Um, but let's go ahead, let's give this thing a ride right now. So let's hop into the driver's seat here. Let's go into third person. Let's have a look. <laughs> Have a look at me in the golf cart. <laughs> I'm gonna go and play some golf. I'm gonna play some golf or something like that. Um, not really. We're gonna go. We're gonna cause mayhem around the streets of my town in this golf cart. So this thing is actually pretty slow, and that's to make up for that. This vehicle can actually have um, three other people, uh, three other passengers inside of it or on it. Um, so as I mentioned, you're going, you're going to be able to squat up with your friends and go on some ep epic adventures with this vehicle. Now, not to worry, you can actually upgrade the engine in this thing. And let's go ahead, let's park in um, V2 
the uh, the gas station here. Let's just uh, well, this thing's electric, so <laughs> it doesn't really need gas. But we're gonna pretend uh, we're gonna get some gas here. Fill her up, Alvin. Fill her up. All right, fill her up. Okay. Um, but before we go ahead and we continue here, I want to show you guys some footage of four people actually riding in this thing because, um, you know, obviously I can't really show you guys right now because I'm just in single player here, but I did do, I did get some footage while I was actually developing this, so here it is right now. So how insane is that? So I'm really looking forward to having this on the sponsor server and also on Cub G. Uh, but let's go ahead. Oh, thank you, Alvin, for filling that up. Thank you. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's uh, give this a quick wash as well. Give it a quick wash. There's the water. There it is. Hey, give it a quick, quick car wash there. Alrighty. It uh, looks like we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is actually upgrade the engine here. Actually, we're going to get the mechanics to upgrade this thing. We're going to get the mechanics, alright? And uh, we'll upgrade this vehicle um, engine. We should actually create like a thing here that will automatically upgrade the vehicle's engine. I think that would be a, a really cool idea. Let's go ahead. Let's get rid of this thing here. What we're going to do... I know this is kind of like off topic of what I usually do on Vehicle Wednesday, but I think it would be cool um, if we did this. Let's go ahead. Let's give uh, Mr. Crayfish command block. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to pop basically um, a command block in the bottom here. And what we're going to do is call it entity data at E R equals, I don't know, two, three or something. I'm going to go engine type. Uh, engine type equals four. So that's going to give us a diamond engine on the vehicle. Let's also do it in that one as well. I just want to kind of make them even like that. So now if we actually go ahead and we drive on those pressure plates there, we should actually get an upgraded engine. Yeah, it looks like we got the upgraded engine. Alrighty, here we go. We now got a diamond engine on this thing. Whoa, this thing is fast. This thing is fast. So yeah, I can you can imagine once you get the diamond engine and you have four people on here, you're going to be able to you're going to be able to go on pretty epic adventures. And this is just this is insane. This is insane. Let's give our uh, drive through. Let's give the uh, the crusty cray here the official first drive through order. All right, let's drive through here. Do a drive through. All righty, here we go. Um, I'll have I'll have two number nines. A number six with extra dip. They've got that. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go over to the. Uh, that's the order window. Let's head over here and uh, let's pick up our food. Hey, where is it? Nobody's working here. What the heck? All right, looks like the uh, drive-through didn't really go that well. Um, <laughs> Alrighty, so I got a bunch of golf carts, golf carts lined up here, and what we're going to do is paint a couple of these because we want to see what these look like. And let me know down in the comment section below. Which one of the, what color you are going to color your golf cart once you actually get a hold of it. Um, because obviously you have the unlimited, uh, you have unlimited options because of the new spray can that we added into the mod. You can paint it any, pretty much any color that you want. Um, so I've just grabbed out a bunch of dyes here. Let's grab these right now. Do we have enough to do them all? Yeah, it looks like we should. We might need uh, one more. Uh, golf cart here to actually do this. All right, let's go ahead. Let's line this thing back up real quickly All right, here we go and let's spray paint these right now. All right So first on we have is the lime green. Ooh, ooh. Now that is fleeky That is fleeky right there. That's cool. I love that lime green one. Lime green is honestly one of the best colors Red a personal favorite of mine. Well, it's my favorite color. So obviously it's going to look absolutely amazing on the golf cart here. Uh, next we have the cyan. Ooh, that's looking good. Is that the same? Oh no, that's the light blue one. This is the cyan. Very similar colors, um, but obviously slightly different. We have the yellow. Ooh, that's looking good. Uh, we have black. Oh, that actually looks sick. That actually looks really nice. I think that's the first 
vehicle that actually looks really nice with the uh, the black spray paint on it. Uh, and then the last one we have here is a white one. Even the white looks good! The white looks good! This has got to be the best vehicle that I've added in where colours actually work on all of them. Hold on. Let's do the ultimate test right now. Let me test that theory, okay? Um, we've said we've created the worst colour in the world. We've said we've created the worst colour for a car, okay? The worst colour for a car, which I don't think anybody drives anything that looks like this, is a yellow and a brown dye here on a spray can. We've tested this before, right? We do that. This is like one of the most horrible colours. It's like a, a disgusting yellow. It actually looks alright. Hold up, let's do that again. Let's add, let's add an extra brown um, onto this. Hold up. It actually looks alright. This, this vehicle's insane. It actually still looks fine. What the heck? How? It just works. I mean, it, it's... It's, it's, it works, but it's still not a nice color, but it works. It actually works. My god, this is, this is going to be one of the best vehicles I've added in today. I don't know, you guys let me know if you think this is the best vehicle I've added in. I think it is. I think it's one of the best because it supports four people. It supports four people. It's so insane. Alrighty, now I got one more feature to show you guys before I end off this video today. Now before I start, I want to give a big thanks to a user called, I think it's Fire Legony. I think that's how you say it. I went, I, I went to Google Translate to see it. Fire Legony. <laughs> Fire Legony, there it is. But what they did is they actually added a really awesome system into the vehicle mod code that allows me to interact with specific parts on a vehicle and basically what I've done with this system is what we can do now is we can actually attach a chest to the moped so as you can see here we have two mopeds so at the back of the moped here we have a tray and to attach a chest is very very easy all you have to simply have to do is just right click the back here and there we go you now have a chest on the back of the moped and uh, the best part of it of all is that you can actually open up the chest here so if you go ahead and right click it hey we now have an inventory where you can store items inside of and uh, here we go we can drive this thing around and go into third person here so we have a we currently have a chest inside of our chest there and uh, just to prove that you know uh, we can travel with the items here uh, let's go ahead let's just hop out in this area here we'll go ahead and right click on the moped there and as you can see we have the chest still in the back there so there we go guys the moped has a chest and it finally works but that my dudes is going to end off this video today hopefully you guys enjoyed you can go ahead and download this update right now link in the description below uh, if you guys haven't already make sure you go ahead and snap that like button right in half subscribe if this is your first vehicle Wednesday and turn on your bell notifications as well so you get notified every time my videos go live and you also at the same time get notified when every when a brand new update comes out for my vehicle mod but that's it i'll catch you guys later enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you for another video peace out